Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Harris and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna be reacting to Anthony Jessen Link uh, performing stand up at a prison. So without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. What venues does does your act go over least well, least successful? Uh, lately, prisons. Oh, all right. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Have you been locked up? No, I've not oh. been locked up. I uh, I drink. Uh huh. Yes. <laughs> and I'm friends with a band, right? Named Queens of the Stone Age. Yes, a great, great band. Yeah. I've not heard of them. And they come to see me do a show, and we're drinking afterwards, and we're talking about touring. We're both almost done, and they say we're gonna finish up, and then we're doing one show at San Quentin State Penitentiary. Oh. Wow. And I, they're like, we want to do a live album, be like Johnny Cash. It's all exciting. Yeah. And I'm just drunk enough to say, do you need an opener? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, that'd be great. And so I forget about it. A couple of weeks later, the prison sends me the rules of what I'm not allowed to say. What are the rules? No swearing. Really? Uh, no religion, no sex, no drugs, no violence, nothing that will rile up the prisoners. <laughs> Basically, it's my set list with the word no in front of everybody. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. So I call the band and I'm like, guys, I might have to bail. And they're like, no, 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 you're cool. If they cut your mic off, whatever, it's still punk rock. Like, it'll be fun, we'll, we'll do a show. So I said, okay, let's go. And my, my concern when I get there are the prisoners. You know, yeah. everyone there is a murderer. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. And we get off. And everyone's looking around, the different pri like prisoners were just like, oh, they're side-eyeing us. I'm waving at people, but they're giving me the finger. Like, I don't know what's going on. And then all of a sudden, I'm surrounded by four guys with shotguns who work there, not prisoners, but they work there. <laughs> and the warden is in my face, like in my face. Not like, thank you for being here, like, what are you doing here? Kind really? Of and I'm not used to this. Yeah. And he says, Anthony, you're my, my favorite comedian. You're my favorite, my wife's favorite comedian. Oh. And that's a lie. People say to me, before they give me bad news. Uh huh. And he says, you know, but I've watched some of your stuff on YouTube and it's offensive, but that's what makes it funny. We love it. I don't know about here. I don't know if it's going to work. And I realize he's trying to get me to step down. Oh. But I'm not going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a long drive, right? Yeah, yeah, and I've got a problem with authority. It's a warden. <laughs> I see. Yeah. I feel like I'm in cool hand Luke all of a sudden. <laughs> so I'm like, well, warden, you know, if the problem is the stuff you've seen on YouTube, don't worry, guys. This is going to be all new material. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody laughs. laughs. Then I, the warden's like, oh, I just don't know. You know, things would go sideways with these prisoners. And I'm like, I've had things go sideways all the time, not a big deal for me. And he's like, I just don't know. And I go, well, Warden, what we've got here is a failure to communicate. <laughs> is Heller Fresh? Oh, come to on. Absolutely. In the beginning, I was doubtful too. Until I realized. <laughs> failure to communicate. <laughs> and I think. This is gonna get them to crack. Yeah. Nothing. No! Nothing. Not even a smile. Really? It's like, I just don't know. I just don't know. And I said, well, Warden, what do you want me to do now that I'm here? You could have made this phone call yesterday and I wouldn't have gotten on a plane. I'd be happily sitting at home. I think they were afraid if they said I couldn't come, the band wouldn't come. Oh. And if they told the band I wasn't allowed to go, the band would have said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There would be no stand taken on your behalf. But no. now I'm here, I'm not gonna back down. And so the war I said, Warden, what do you want me to do now that I'm here right now in front of you? Just mean I made the trip. And the warden says, well, I'm not intimidated by you at all. What? It's about to get physical with the warden. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I, I don't even know what to say. And he's like, you know, it's just it's a problem. We got a new governor. You know, it's, this is November. We got a new governor. I got to worry about everything. So just, I just don't know. I don't know. He walks away. I look at the band, I'm like, I'm gonna kill all of you for making it. <laughs> so I'm like, I've gotta get on stage somehow. You know, they're not gonna let me perform, but I'm gonna do something. So I go up to the warden, he's, t he's showing us around. He's got his daughter with him, his 23-year-old daughter. He's like, this place is so safe because of me, I can bring my daughter. And I'm like, but I can't perform. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So I pull the warden aside, I go, warden, 
You got a lovely daughter. This is a great prison. I go, please, just let me be a part of this. Great prison. Let me. It's one of the best. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever kill somebody and you get your save, way to go, go to San Quentin. And I say, Warden, just let me go introduce the band and then I'll leave. And he says, thank you, and shakes my hand. Now keep in mind, Jimmy, that is not what I'm going to do. <laughs> right, no, no. <laughs> no shit. So we're about to go. I'm in, this, I'm in the wings of the uh, side of the stage with the band. And they're like, good luck, man. Whatever you do, don't worry about us. Don't worry about what, don't worry about what you say. We're going to be fine. And this woman goes, gets up, this old lady who's kind of like put it all together. She stands up and says, I want to thank the crew. And then she says, now I'd like to introduce, and then looks over at me, looks me right in the eyes, and says, I'd like to introduce a very nice young man. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> and that is the worst way you can introduce someone at a prison. He's <laughs> a very nice young man. So I'm just like, all right, I walk up. The crowd is screaming. They're just like, woo, cat calling. I grab the mic. <laughs> and I say, listen, guys, I've been doing this for 17 years. I'm a famous comedian. So if you haven't heard of me, you must have done something pretty <laughs> the crowd goes crazy. This is exactly what they wanted. Right. The band is like the band's laughing. Everyone's laughing. My microphone has been cut off. Oh. <laughs> so I drop the mic. And I go to introduce the band. And as I'm about to introduce the band, I see the warden and his daughter. <laughs> and I think, oh, this is too good an opportunity to pass up. So I yell, and I'd like to thank the warden for bringing us his daughter. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, Jimmy, no one laughs. The Even prison, the prisoners the prisoners you've gone like, too far. Yeah, the prisoners are like, whoa. Hey. I may have killed the guy, but I wouldn't do that. <laughs> this guy's nuts. <laughs> Thank God he's oh leaving my after this. Gosh. And, oh. and I walk off. The band is looking at me like, I can't believe it. We should have said some limits. They go on and play for an hour. I'm watching from the side. Someone taps me on the shoulder and says, the warden would like you to come watch the show with him. Uh. <laughs> I'm not falling for that. No, no, no. Like, I'm good right here. <laughs> the show ends. The band's like, let's get the hell out of here now. <laughs> we go to run into the van to leave. I, I, someone taps me on the shoulder. I turn around. It's the warden. Oh. He shakes my hand and says, next time you come to town, my wife and I are going to have to come and see you. And I say, warden, the next time you see me, I'll be humiliating you on television. <laughs> what a man. <laughs> so, that was Anthony Jessenlake uh, performing uh, a stand up at the prison. And oh my god, the way he told the whole story was absolute brilliant. And uh, the whole prison bit was absolute brilliant. I knew from the get-go, I haven't seen this bit by the, way, uh, by the way, I've never seen this, but I am absolutely certain, like, I knew for a fact that that's exactly what he's gonna do, he's not gonna back down, even if it's one or two jokes, he's gonna go all in, because that's exactly what he does, he pushed the limit, and the whole uh, bit was absolutely brilliant, I really enjoyed it, I hope you did too, if you did, like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links are in the description down below. And I'll see you guys next time.